Balash got a draw today, which I believe clinches your second Grandmaster norm. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Uh, for this reason that I only needed a draw today, uh, I tried to play a safe variation. And indeed, I, I got a risk-free endgame uh, where I tried to push, but uh, maybe uh, I missed some chances. Although uh, it's possible that uh, she made some inaccurate uh, moves that at least I could get uh, these chances. Of course, it's also important for the men's team result. You wanted to play solidly to try and make sure of the four points you need to clinch the £75,000 prize. Yes, well, during the game I didn't think about that, uh, the latter only about yeah. uh, the, the points we need. Yeah. And I was like, uh, I, even though I only need a draw, if it's 3-3, three, then I, uh, of course, I will push as long as I can. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, we don't know how, much, uh, how many points uh, we need, uh, for sure, so. Okay, let's get straight to the game. Yes. Okay, Balash, uh, Tarash defense today, Queen's Gambit, what happened next? I played uh, probably the most solid line with G3. I remember one of my uh, one of the Hungarian uh, youth captains said that if don't do any, if you don't know what to do, just play G3 Bishop G2 because you played those positions well. So I was like, okay, let's go for that. Uh, it is probably not the most challenging because uh, if Black knows uh, his her stuff, then uh, CD4 is like uh, immediate uh, equalizer because if Queen D4, then Knight C6 comes with tempo. So I need to take first Queen D5, Queen takes D4, and uh, of, of, if uh, black takes queen d4, bishop g2, some pressure along diagonal. So first black plays queen b5, which looks a bit strange, but actually my queen doesn't stand uh, too well on d4 because knight c6 is coming. So let's say e4, uh, queen b4 check, bishop d2. Uh, I had a game six years ago here in Gibraltar against the grandmaster who uh, he took on d4 and after knight d4 I'm slightly better, but the knight c6 is... Uh, the precise move and after uh, takes uh, bishop b4, bishop b5, uh, simple equations uh, come and uh, draw is uh, most likely. But instead, uh, she played knight c6. Uh, sorry, first knight c3. Uh, but let's say uh, she plays knight c6 instead. Uh, oh, I see. In first, this yes. Here, uh, bishop g2, we got a transposition to, okay, it can arise from uh, Samitaraj Samita from uh, symmetrical English. And here, uh, if she wants to go for what uh, she got in the game, she should take uh, cd9d, uh, knight cbc, and knight d4. And uh, then I have to take with queen, because if uh, cd4, then bishop b4 check. Uh, and it's already bad for me because bishop d2 can be met by queen takes d4. So in the game, what happened? Uh, she took first, bc, knight c6. And this is probably an inaccurate move order because it, it gives me an extra option to play cd4. And, uh, okay, uh, next move I castle and let's say bishop b4 check, bishop d2. There is no queen takes d4. So it's a better version for me, which I hesitated for like two minutes, but I was like, uh, this uh, queenless uh, middle end game is uh, risk free. With queens uh, on the board, everything could happen. So, okay, knight d4, I did some preparation here. Uh, okay, queen d4 as, as mentioned. And there used to be a line with bishop b4, but uh, it's really dubious. So bishop d6 is probably better now. I just want to show uh, the, okay. the line really quickly without too much uh, explanation. Rook eight c1, or the other rook can come. Uh, black needs to do some precise moves to, to untangle. Other than that, uh, there is huge pressure. Rook d8, rook uh, c1. Uh, black cannot take because rook c7 is very strong, so king d8 takes. Uh, king has to take back, and there is a very strong idea uh, to play g4, trying to fix the kingside uh, structure. So let's say uh, h6, h4. Uh, black still needs some time to untangle. Uh, f4, it's uh, important not to close the bishop first. And then there is uh, bishop c6 check. And let's say king e7 or king d6, I push e45. And only question is, uh, does, is it a forced win for white or not? Mm -hmm. uh, Galfand won a game against Lake White in 2014, and after that uh, everyone stopped this line with bishop b4 check. So she played bishop d6, which is probably a better uh, way, because she wants to play rook b8, and mm -hmm. then b6, bishop b7. And she couldn't do it before, because uh, rook b8, bishop. Uh, bishop f4. But I want to stop this plan with a4, rook b8, a5. Uh, because here, let's say black plays, uh, I don't play a5, black plays b6, and whenever I play a5, uh, she plays b5, and my pawn looks really funny on a5. But here, uh, what happened in the game, b5 en passant, uh, only one pawn remains on the a, b5s, and it's easy to attack or, or block. So, uh, 
Okay, bishop a3. I just want to show one more idea which I remembered, not in exactly in this position, but uh, from my preparation. I wasn't sure if, if it's good for her to take and then castle. Like, uh, can we go back one more move uh, instead of taking? Uh, let's say she plays king e7. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. I thought king e7. Yeah, uh, I need to take because if she plays rook d8 and takes back with the rook, that's really fine for her. So I take. Uh, I don't know it's, if this works, we should be seven. And if she gets rook c8, uh, she's fine. So just for the, showing the idea, bishop b7 is a, is a motif here, Tr uh, stopping rook fc8 uh, altogether. And if I get one more move, let's say king d2, I'm really fine. But uh, the problem I fought in the game is that she can just play king c7. Yeah. I need to go back and okay, maybe it's a repetition, <laughs> uh, which okay, I wasn't, uh, I wouldn't have been so dissatisfied, but this bishop b7 is an idea to keep in mind. And I think she made some inaccuracies and we got, uh, okay, we move jump uh, around uh, 29, h5. Yeah, uh, so we got everything I wanted. Previous move, I think she could have stopped this h5 with, with uh, herself playing uh, h5. Because mm -hmm. once That's I managed to, uh, yes, thank you. Once I managed <laughs> to stop, uh, her playing h5, then okay, all pawn end games are okay, quite uh, dangerous. And uh, what happened in the game? Rook d6, rook a3. Yeah, uh, it was important for me to play rook a3 now because uh, if I give her one more move, let's say she she brings the king uh, king c7, king b7, rook other rook to d8, and she's completely safe. Uh, but now if I threaten with uh, rook a7 check, so mm -hmm. she either plays king c7 and then rook b7 or why she played in the game is probably stronger rook c8. Um, because here the king is closer. So like, let's say I want to play king e5, it doesn't hit the rook. With the king on b7, I gain one crucial tempo. Yeah. And f4 I played. Uh, I think uh, she mentioned that computer shows rook b3 is somewhat better. But my idea was that let's say she plays g6, trying to simplify, then h6. And if I don't have pawn on f, uh, f4, then she can play g5 and call like my pawn. So then basically mm -hmm. I'm forced to exchange and then obviously that's nothing. But here she cannot really simplify with g5 because let's say she tries rook g6 and there is no threat because rook g5 is met by d6. So I can just bring my king closer. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. okay, this uh, action backfires. Uh, I would like to show one more line after f4. Uh, yes. Uh, so instead, uh, I thought maybe she tries to force a draw, but that, that was really uh, okay double-edged decision. So let's say, okay, still no threat with rook h5 because of d6, but let's say next move, she just plays king b7, getting out of check. So I need to play g4 at some point, g6, looking suicide, but if black can manage to trade one pair of pawns, a, g, a, g, brings the rook back, and maybe I take and king e5, I missed. But what I want to show is that I wanted to play d6 here, and if she takes, then uh, uh, this is already re getting really dangerous for, for her. But I think the problem was uh, that she could play king c6 here. Ah. And okay, rook b6 doesn't win because king uh, gets back in time. And if d7 happens, take rook b6. And basically black is a tempo up because uh, it's her move. My king is not on e5 and I think she can try to simplify with f5 into a pawn down, like basically one against zero end game, which mm -hmm. should be draw. This is what I thought, I think, yeah, how is it? Uh, a g, rook g6, I'm not sure. No, I'm not that sure after all this, seeing it on the board. <laughs> so maybe it was nonsense. Uh, rook g6, rook b7, maybe, maybe this one. Yeah, because if rook b7, king e6, but that's still g5. Okay, let's let's go to critical position, what okay. uh, we have discussed. So move uh, uh, after king d7, uh, 35. Uh, probably one move before. So here, uh, okay, rook c6, uh, basically, I don't say silent draw for because still I had some, some ideas, but uh, here I calculated for a long time to play h6 because my problem in the game was that after rook c6, she had this f6 check and uh, she gets to my pawn. So if I start with this one, let's say uh, I take king e5 and uh, I don't know why I was afraid to be honest, because I saw, maybe I saw, started seeing some ghosts uh, after all these uh, long tournaments, uh, her uh, 
uh, B pawn starts running, and I wasn't sure how f how quickly can I collect my pawns because let's say B5, King of six, B4, Rook B3, Rook B8, and uh, she starts coming with uh, the king also. Well, actually, the, it was important that I put my rook on this uh, third rank because it uh, defends the G3 pawn, mm -hmm. which uh, is the weakest. So it would have been probably a, a way to to play on. Uh, well, I wasn't sure because if anything goes wrong and I lose, then it's really heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah. So rook c6, still some some tricks in sleeve because uh, rook a4, king e5. And yeah, if I have one more move, okay, okay, then always one more move, then okay. <laughs> I would have been already grandmaster. So rook d4, I need to take. And uh, I don't know, it was move 40, but I had plenty mm -hmm. of time. Maybe king yeah. g4 would have been worthy. Uh, because here, if she has king on e7, it's a draw because she just plays h6. But here, okay, I threaten with rook b7 and king probably to, uh, to e7. Because if rook b7, this is nothing. Take, take, and h6, g6, and this is the other way around. h6 has to be met by g6. Other than that, probably I, I really win. Mm -hmm. So I can start the other move order with uh, rook d7, king e7. Uh, Yes, this one, thank you. H6, uh, somehow I think I underestimated this one. It should be a draw, like even G6 should make a draw. And the only thing not to blunder with black is to play rook H5 here. Uh, rook H, yeah, because rook B7 now uh, okay. with, uh, with yeah. the trick wins the pawn. So she should just stay on, on the back rank and uh, copy my moves. So should be a draw. Mm -hmm. And uh, one more thing, uh, king E4, yeah. Or even she could go for uh, in this line. Uh, even if she takes on h6 instead, uh, two against one uh, should be a relatively easy draw, but okay, there is no need for that. What yeah. I played in the game, king e4, uh, rook h5, I had one trick in mind, that if she plays king e6, okay, if I take f5, uh, it's an obvious draw, what, just like in the game, I wanted to try f5 check, because she cannot take, mm -hmm. uh, because rook b6 wins the rook, it's important that my rook is far away from the king, so there is no rook c6, king d7. Mm -hmm. uh, Everything should make a draw here, but I had one trick that if she wants to force it with rook g5, I'm not sure, but maybe it, it's losing because I play g4. Uh, okay, somehow we get this opposition. And the thing is that she cannot sacrifice h5 because I take and somehow I will be quicker, I think. Just uh, line one line I, I calculated that we promote the same time, but actually I will, uh, I yeah. will deliver mate with. Uh, Queen h7, and maybe it's the same that with she plays king uh, f8 first, and then king f king e5, and then get this opposition, and I win with Tutswang. But okay, she's uh, 24, uh, I don't know, 30 something for a reason. So of course uh, <laughs> yeah. she didn't fail, and okay, king d6. Once again, if uh, rook g7 f5 and bring the uh, bring uh, the king closer, I tried g4, and okay, f5 makes a draw, everything makes a draw, and uh, okay, final position uh, I could. Maybe play on with rook g6, get some one against zero, but okay, it's Philidor position is quite well known. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you.